at Planned Parenthood, employees are worried if a compromise is not met at Congress, there will be more than $250,000 in Tennessee health care cuts, and that just includes HIV testing. More cuts also include vaccinations for children, and the list goes on. Republicans. Let me just be clear. I think it's time for the president to show leadership. The reality is he's been engaged in almost nonstop campaigning, trying to scare the American people. Democrats. We should be very alarmed at some of these cuts. I don't think it's anything to laugh at or, or play. Always in a heated match to get anything done in D.C. First, it was the debt ceiling, then the fiscal cliff. Now, sequestration. Whatever politicians want to call it, it means bringing down the hammer somewhere. People in health care are always frustrated when politicians try and determine how they want to treat health care. Planned because Parenthood of Memphis CEO Barry currently. Chase is worried about all the possible public health cuts. He says it's money that pays for lots of preventative and necessary health care. HIV testing for one. Well, Shelby County or Memphis leads the nation in HIV. And if we don't prevent it, if we don't test people, then those people are going to spread it unknowingly. Whatever happens, uh, Chase Jack hopes politicians will reach a middle ground. The they have no idea what the reality of health care is for people of low income or people who are out of work. We're still in a recession. Now, as you guys can see right now, it's pouring rain out here. But Tennessee is facing more than $4.5 million in total health care costs. Mississippi and Arkansas, they're facing each about $1 million. Now, if you want to see a complete list of all the costs in the Mid-South, go to our website, abc24.com, and click on Find It. Reporting live in Midtown, Jackie Orozco, ABC 24 News.